Kitchen Monster. Today we're going to do spicy sausage and kimchi dumplings. It's going to be quick, simple, and delicious. And if you don't want this to be a meaty variety, you can always substitute um, crumpled tofu. And if you don't want this to be spicy, you can just omit the red pepper flakes. But you can steam this, fry this, make this into a soup, and all of those different varieties will be posted on my blog, thesquishymonster.com. The first thing I'm going to gather up are my filling ingredients. In my big bowl here, I just have a couple cups of finely minced kimchi and some uncased natural sausage. To that, I'm going to add a few things. I'm going to add on top, directly on top of the sausage, my soy sauce and my sesame oil. And then I'm going to just for some burst of fresh, freshness, some green onions, some garlic, and some chai or some uh, ginger. <laughs> you could add chives as well. And then in my palm, I'm going to add in like about a palmful of red pepper seeds, red pepper flakes, seeds and all. Like how much depends on how spicy you want it. I'm going to run it through my palms just to release some of its oils and add it into my, my sausage, on top of my sausage. I'm basically making a paste of sorts. And I just added in one cracked egg, and that'll help bind the whole mixture together. And before I use it or scoop it up into my wonton skins, I'm going to put this whole mixture, this whole filling, into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes just for everything to melt together or to kind of firm up. You can just gather the edges like this, and then crimp. And basically, I guess, make like a freeform box of sorts all four edges, you gather them together and just kind of smush the edges together just like this. So it makes a little three-dimensional package of sorts. So do whatever way works for you. There's like a thousand ways to do this, but just do whatever is, is easiest for you or what shape you desire. Just have fun with it. I have in my little pot right here a couple inches of water and when you take the top off you'll see that I put in an elevated, I don't know what you call this, like a mesh stand upright contour. I have no idea what this is called. But in order for the dumpling not to stick and the water simmering below but not touching this elevated um, contraption, I have some wax paper or some parchment that I'm going to put down and I'm going to start laying my dumplings down. And they're going to take about 15 to 20 minutes or so. So just keep your eye on them. And if you want to make sure, you can just kind of cut into one to see. But just lay your dumplings on a single, on a single layer, just like so. And then you're going to put the top on so it steams through. To make the dipping sauce, I usually use this one or another one. And I'll post both on my blog. I have some soy sauce, some dark, smoky soy sauce. To that, I'm going to add in the juice of one fresh orange. Squeeze the juice in there. Just to brighten and um, up the muddle. Sometimes soy sauce can have like a dark, like kind of muddle taste to it. So just to brighten it up, I have some freshly squeezed orange juice. To that I'm going to add in some agave or honey, whatever you have or whatever you like or whatever's on sale. Just drizzle that in there. And then I have some sesame seeds and you can also use some green onions but I put all of mine into my dumplings so you add that in there as well. I'm working on my last batch of dumplings and this is what it looks like. They'll be kind of iridescent and kind of sheer um, when they're ready and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how well simmering your water is below and I have them sitting on just a silicone mat and virtually nothing sticks to this. Not like I usually do, give myself a break. <laughs> gonna take a dumpling and it's been steamed beautifully through and through. You can feel like the texture of it in the center, it's hardened a little bit. And it's got this tender little dumpling wrapper. It's gonna be it's all soft and steamed through. I'm gonna dip it into my soy sauce, dipping sauce, going in for a bite.